What's up everybody? Welcome to Balkan Moto. We got some new tires, so let's get them on the bike. All right, I bought some uh, new tires to refresh the original tires that are on the bike. Uh, currently, the bike is with its original 2002 uh, Dunlop K555 tires. And we're gonna be switching over to the Dunlop uh, D404s. Uh, the sizes are identical to what the original equipment was. So the front is a uh, 110 and the rear is a 170 80 uh, these are technically labeled as tubeless, but uh, based on what I found on Dunlop's webpage, it doesn't really matter. Um, you run them as you see fit, um, depending on your application. And in my application, we do have tubes. So for those, I've gotten uh, some Michelin tubes uh, for the rear and for the front. So first things first, let's get the bike propped up so we can take the front wheel off and then deal with the front tire first and then with the far more involved rear afterwards. Front is up, I got the uh, frame on those two. I'm gonna put another uh, thing behind the rear wheel. I think it's actually in gear, so it shouldn't roll back. But anyway, just for safety. The front wheel is just propped so it doesn't, the whole steering column doesn't rotate, so I can loosen that up. And uh, we should be good to go. In terms of how to take this off, well, there's this bolt here, the axle, and it should be able to slide right out. So let's uh, get that going. All right, front wheel is off. Let's remove the stem, drain the air out of it. Uh, we're gonna mark the direction of rotation so that we don't fuck things up. And uh, then break the bead, take it off. All right, as soon as I let the air out, the bead actually <laughs> released by itself. So that's good. Let's uh, just play some Rindex, make it lubricated nice and neat and good and pull it out. We're gonna pull out the front edge first, then loosen the uh, this bolt here so we can take out the inner tube. And then we're gonna pull out the uh, extra side. All right, front tire is off. Let's clean up the rim uh, and start looking at how we're going to mount the new tire. I already started putting the new tire on. Uh, one thing that I saw that was actually a really good tip, see these little like rubber thingies that stick out? Clip them off before you put the rim in there because it's very likely that some of them will rip off and fall into the bead area and not seal the tire properly. Even though this is a uh, we're gonna be doing a tubed application. This is the new tube actually. Um, it's still a good idea to clip these off. So you can create as much of a seal as possible. So let's clip them off, both sides, and then uh, start mounting. All right, tires ready to be mounted. And before we continue, just the <laughs> look at the difference between a 20 year old tire or a 21 year old tire and a two year old or one and a half year old tire that has never been used of night and day. Um, you can see the pressure cracks and the grooves here. Uh, the thread is like pretty much non-existent and here we have like quite a bit. So, and there's also, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is a little bit of flat spot in the middle here where this is a little bit more round. So all in all, much, much better. Let's get rid of this and get the brim onto this guy. Well, this is unfortunate. Finally mounted the tire. And, um, and the process of mounting it seems like I've punctured the tube. The tire will not inflate. So I think lesson learned here, doing tube mounting as well as tire mounting with just uh, tire irons is way too risky and way too much effort. I think I'm just gonna take these to a shop and get them installed properly. This is just, it's not worth the effort. I might look into a tire mounting machine in the future just so I can do this myself, but doing it this way is just not, not worth it. As for the bike, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna prop it up onto, uh, prop the back up as well. Uh, so they can just sit and then take off the rear wheel as well. So I can take both uh, to be mounted. And uh, yeah. All right, I uh, did things the right way and just took the tires and the wheels to uh, the shop to get them installed. Uh, so everything's on. They look a lot rounder than the old wheels did. Uh, so that's great. So let's quickly wipe them down and get them back on the bike. Um, one thing we're gonna do uh, before we get things on the bike is for the front, we're going to clean up the axle. So this guy here, I'm gonna clean it up and put some um, grease on that uh, so that it's uh, nice and slippery as well as on the back, we're gonna clean up the rear axle as well as the uh, spleens in here from all that gunked up old grease. I'm gonna put in some new grease in there, same on the hub on the other side, um, and uh, put that on. So let's deal with the front wheel first. All right, front wheel is in position. Just gotta put the axle back in. Uh, we're gonna put some of this uh, grease on it, which is Loctite Metal Feed Low Friction Lubricant. Uh, it's quite thick. Uh, it's meant mostly for spleens and stuff, but uh, there should be some on here. Um, just to kind of keep this nice and healthy. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna just slide it in, tighten everything down. All right, front wheel is on. Everything's torqued to spec. It rotates, it breaks, it's good. Let's uh, do the same now with the back. Clean up some of that old grease, clean up the wheel and get it on here. The wheel is ready to be mounted as well. I had to pump it uh, full of more air because the bead wasn't set uh, in one spot on the other side of the tire. So I had to just pump it up more and spray it with some more Windex to uh, get it nice and slippery so I could pop and set properly. Uh, I ended up cleaning the uh, spleens and the gears in the inside of this and uh, putting more grease on there. Uh, so they're nice and lubricated. I did clean this end as well. I'm gonna put more grease on that uh, before I slide it into the bike. Uh, and uh, we're ready to mount it. So let's uh, get that on there. All right, tires are on, bike is roadworthy. Um, I took it for a quick test ride and the rubber definitely feels a lot more rounder um, than before. I think there's a few little like tweaks I need to do in terms of the carburation, just to get it nice and uh, ready. But uh, at this point, it's ready to go take for a ride. All right, guys, we got the new tires on the bike and the bike is ready for the road. Make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications when new videos become available. Check me out on Instagram at Balkanmoto2018 and check out Balkanmoto.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.